So you've just purchased your Galaxy S24 Ultra and you're looking for some affordable accessories. Let me show you. Hey guys, Danny here. Hope you're all doing well. So if like me, you've recently purchased a Galaxy S24 Ultra and now you don't have any money to eat, but yet you still need some affordable accessories for your phone, I've got you covered. I'm gonna show you three products I picked up with my own money. These weren't sent to me or sponsored or anything like that. So we have a um, phone case, screen protector, and these other two products are both fast chargers, one for your home and one for your car. And I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna pick any of these up. Out of all of the products, I would probably say this one provides the most value for money. It was so cheap, I was a little bit worried that it was just going to be really rubbish and cheap feeling, but I was presently surprised. So this is um, named as like a five in one protection pack and they're just adding up the different items you get in here. So you get two screen protectors, a case for your phone and also two protectors for your camera. You'll probably have a similar dilemma that I had and that was really how do you find the perfect case so for me i really wanted something that was slim but also at the same time didn't cover up the phone too much you've just bought a brand new phone you spent a lot of money you want to protect it but at the same time you kind of feel like you want to be able to to see what you've actually paid for um, and what i liked about this case is it has a clear back so you can actually see your samsung logo and the back of your phone since it's a clear plastic case on the back for how cheap this product was, I was quite impressed with the packaging. They do say they offer a warranty. I'm not really sure if they would honor that and I've not needed to try myself so far. And you also get some stickers included in this as well. I wouldn't really use them myself, but it's a nice touch for their branding. Also, what I will do is if you want any updates on how this case is holding up, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you um, as this time goes on and I'm using this case, I'll let you know if it discolors, if it falls apart, anything like that. When it comes to the camera protectors, I did a bit of digging on this and I don't really think they're worth using unless you're really paranoid. So the lenses on cameras on most smartphones are made of, from what I could make out, a kind of synthetic sapphire material, which is super strong and really resistant to scratches. So putting a camera protector over them isn't really gonna offer you any more protection, and it may also just make your pictures more blurry. So I opted to not install them. The other thing you have to consider when installing a screen protector is you are going to lose a lot or all of the anti-reflective technology Samsung has on their new screen. You also may lose a little bit of brightness and um, color accuracy to your screen once you apply this screen protector. But for me, I really wanted that extra protection, so I decided to go ahead and put a screen protector on. Samsung does offer their own screen protector, which apparently minimizes the reduction in the loss of the screen reflective coating. But apparently it's pretty expensive and people say it's not very good quality, so I gave that one a miss. Applying screen protectors to phones has never been one of my strong points. I usually struggle a little bit to line them up perfectly. I did try using these stickers at first. You get these kind of alignment stickers with this pack to help you put the screen protector on your phone. But I just found they really didn't help me at least. They just made it more difficult. So I opted to just not use them. The second time round, I just replaced it freely by hand. And thankfully it worked well. I managed to get out all of the bubbles. I didn't get it perfectly straight on the screen. Um, I find that quite difficult to do, but it was enough that I was satisfied with it. Do bear in mind the screen protector doesn't cover the whole glass panel of the front screen. It does go up to where the bezels start, if that makes sense. So it does cover the area of the screen, which kind of lights up where you see the display, but you will get some small areas around the edge where the black bars are. Um, that's not covered by the screen protector. I got used to this very quickly and this does seem quite common amongst screen protectors. They don't go all the way up to the edge. So do bear that in mind. They do advertise this case as ultra slim, which I'm not sure if I'd go that far. It kind of takes the phone from being perfectly holdable in the hand to just slightly too bulky, but you're gonna get that with any case. Um, and I really did like the, 
design i think it just fits in well with the black color of um the ultra that i went with um and i've had this case on for a couple of weeks now since i actually shot this original footage and i've been really happy with it um it doesn't feel too bulky um, and it feels like it also offers really good protection moving on to the fast charger I was looking at Samsung's uh, official fast charger for this phone and it was like 30 pounds or something stupid. I don't know why you'd pay that kind of money since there's so many other options. This is Anchor's version. Um, it doesn't come with a cable, uh, but obviously you do have your USB-C cable which comes with a phone and that will work with this fine. And uh, this was 17 pounds. So I got this for almost half the price of Samsung's charger. I think Samsung's charger might be a little bit more than 30 pounds, but it's something around that price. And I've been really happy with this one. When I first took it out of the box and had a feel of it, it has a nice heft and weight to it. And it just feels of a really good quality. Being an Anchor product, I feel like you'll be able to probably trust it for long-term use as well. This is also my first time using 45 watt fast charging and on the low end I can't believe how fast this thing seems to charge. I plugged this in a few times um, when my phone was pretty low, went into another room, came back five minutes later and it gained like 10%, 10 or 15%, something crazy. I actually thought my phone's battery was broken um, when I first started seeing these numbers. Then I realized um, when your phone is obviously pretty drained it will charge really fast on the low end and that as it gets to the higher percentage of being full it will slow down quite a lot next up we have ugreen's 63 watt fast car charger so this actually gives you two slots you have your usb c slot which is for your 45 watt fast charging for your samsung devices and then you also have another standard usb a slot um, which you can use the remaining power for. I like to have two slots in my car for someone else to use or if I have some earbuds I want to charge up on the way to the gym. I was originally going to go with a wireless car charger but the speeds just aren't really good enough and useful for me. And this one also had some good reviews and Ugreen seems to be a pretty trusted brand. USB-C port, you need to make sure you use that. Let's plug it into the phone. see super fast charging and this is the battery screen super fast charger connected I picked this one up for 13 pounds and the link will be down in the description along with the other products I've shown you as I said earlier if you come across this video and it's quite old and you want an update um, just leave me a comment or I'll try and maybe leave a sticky down the road to let you know how long these products have lasted me especially the case and the screen protector I really hope you guys have enjoyed the th video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more videos like this one and of course I will see you in the next one.